Catherine and Eddie, congrats to the both of you on this show. I've seen episodes two to six. It's so cute, so fun and adorable. So honestly, thank you for entertaining me for those three or four hours. Good, I'm so glad. Um, I was hoping you were going to be dressed in your Leanne freaking rhyme shirt, but you know, I had to take my chances. I absolutely love the I need you duet. Catherine, you just have the best voice ever. Could you talk about what it was like to rehearse that duet with Leanne and of course, Eddie, with you being there, what it was like to just sing that live for that particular episode? Catherine, I'll start with you. Well, I love that song so much. So it was just, um, even if Leanne hadn't been there, I would have been excited to just have the chance to sing it on the show. Um, and yeah, we didn't really get that much time, you know, with most TV shows, they kind of, the, the actors roll in and you say hello. And obviously met her through, um, Eddie, some, some of our live shows and, um, it was special. I mean, that's one of those scenes that we talk about the show having, you know, so all the comedy and all that stuff, but this show has so much heart to it. And, um, so we got to have a lot of exchanging looks that were heartfelt and telling the story forward. And it was great to have her there. We loved having her there. It was fun. Yeah, I mean, it was so beautiful. I started crying. Eddie, what was your kind of experience like just listening and watching like the duet during that scene? Uh, it, like you said, I mean, it was a very sweet moment. Um, obviously kind of surreal. I mean, because, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's my wife, you know, playing mm -hmm. herself um, <laughs> in a show that I'm on, um, but it's, uh, you know, it was sweet. I think, you know, seeing even the kids very excited uh, to be a part of that and be able to sing with her. Um, and, you know, it's one of those things, like what Kat was saying, that makes this show so special is that we, we're going to have this opportunity to bring in guest stars um, like that um, and be a part of it. And, and it's natural and, and it fits because of just the uh, where the show is set and what it's about. Uh, yeah, I love your inception good. layering of how like everything's happening within that one scene. Um, I'm curious for each of you as actors, when you're doing, when you know that there's going to be like a laugh track in the show, do you have to deliver your lines differently? Does, is dialogue affected at all? I've never asked an actor this before and I'm always just curious. Catherine, I'll start with you knowing that is, do you have to change your performance and line delivery at all? Yeah, that was probably the thing I had to get used to the most because I don't have tons of experience. I did a pilot for NBC actually years ago that was a sitcom, but that was my only experience. It was a couple weeks of work and that was it. Um, so yeah, having the writers come up and say like, you need to hold for this, this, this part or after this line, you need to hold here, which is maybe sometimes counterintuitive to where you think there would be a laugh. Um, so you really kind of rely heavily on the, the writers to, um, to give you that, that, that feedback because the thing about like sitcoms is that the, the, the laugh track or the real live laughs um, that yeah. you, you really hope for, but the laugh track is kind of a rhythm, right? Like it's part of the relaxation of watching mm -hmm. sitcom for me when I watch it, the, the laughing is becomes part of the rhythm of the show. So um, it's definitely something that um, I'm learning more about. Yeah, no, 100% and it was very smooth. Eddie, is it the same for you in regards to how you deliver your performance? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's the same. And, you know, that you know, the thing, hold for laughs, that's what you hear all the time. Um, and you, it is a rhythm that you have to try to get used to and it, it, it becomes easier as you do it. Um, you know, obviously the laugh track is a little different than if you were in front of a live studio audience because you actually do hold because you hear them laugh. Right. Um, the laugh track, it's just, you know, they're going to they're gonna throw that in there. Um, and they might throw it in there when you didn't even expect them to throw it in there. Um, so... It's, uh, it's a little different when you don't, when you have to hold for a laugh when you don't hear the laugh. Um, and, but you get used to it. You get used to that rhythm and that's what multicam is. It's a, yeah. it's a specific skill set um, and, with, and, and you get used to doing it. Sorry, with COVID, I was just gonna say, with COVID shutting us production down and bringing us back, we had no live audience. So we really did have to get used to it. Yeah, no, and re really quick to wrap with you, Catherine, I wouldn't, it wouldn't be, I would not be myself if I did not ask a smash question. I absolutely loved the fan reaction when you said that you were now Team Ivy. And I'm curious for you, if you could just give us an update on the Broadway show and how you kind of came to that decision of being Team Ivy really quick. Oh, well, it's my love for Megan Hilty. I mean, you know. I know. <laughs> she's, I know. She's so great. Um, yeah, there's, there's no updates as far as, I mean, sadly, Broadway is like, I know. Last thing, it's it's very sad, sad thing that's um, happened with 
the whole pandemic it's hit Broadway so specifically so yeah um I'm, I'm hoping one of these days girl <laughs> yeah, me too yeah thank you both so much for your time today I appreciate the show so much and I can't wait for fans to see it thank you both and stay safe out there thanks for your time thank you too